The Tale of St. Nicholas A long time ago, in the Renaissance period, there lived a young boy named Nick. He was the ancestor of St. Nicholas. Nicholas was a kind boy. He had many hobbies that he loved to do. He loved to build. He loved to paint. And he even loved to sculpture. And his dream was to make these sculptures and arts that he created and give them to the children of the world. So Nick said goodbye to his mother and off he went to deliver the gifts that he made for the children who couldn't afford any. And most importantly, the good little boys and girls. And on the way on his journey, he met some friends. And the first friend he met was a reindeer. Hmm, a reindeer. Do you have a home, little one? The reindeer shook his head no. So, Nick invited him to come along on his journey. On St. Nicholas's journey, he met a girl named Martha, who was escaping from an evil wizard named Krampus. Who are you escaping from? I am a, I'm escaping from my father. He's like, I suppose a toy would brighten him up. No, he doesn't like happiness. Doesn't like happiness? That's just silly. He wants to make everyone miserable. So together, the three misfits went and delivered the presents. And on their way, they met another friend named Father Time. Father Time controlled time. And so together, he taught Nicholas how to control space, time, and continuum. So together, the four of them went and traveled. And they knew Krampus was on their tail. Where do you think you're going, missy? There stood Krampus. Here, here's something that will cheer you up. Ooh, I don't like happiness. But then with the touch of Father Time, Father Time put his hand on Krampus' shoulder, and then all of a sudden, poof! Krampus was vanished and never be seen again. Well, that was very interesting, Father Time, said Nicholas. Well, so, Martha was safe at last, and together, they went and traveled to somewhere far away, which was the North Pole. They arrived to North Pole, Canada, and they found some elves, some Canadian elves, who were hiding from the people, because they were afraid of people. And so, Nick invited the elves to come live with them, because... Nick wasn't the only person that could build toys and deliver around the world. He needed help from many more than just him. And so with his friends and the elves, they all joined together and they went to Canada. And they found the perfect spot up north. And they built a house. And they built a castle. And they even built little homes for the elves. And so all together, they built and it took them over five years to complete. And while they were building... Nick finally said to Martha, Will you marry me and be my queen? And she said, Yes. So together, they got married, and they had a fabulous wedding. Just a private one for them and the elves and Father Time. And then, the perfect day to get married was Christmas Eve, the night that he took off. So Nicholas took off with the loads of presents to deliver around the world. But there was only one problem that was missing, they didn't know how to fly. So, with the help of his reindeer, the reindeer went to his ancestors, and the reindeer grabbed all the reindeers, and they were named Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. So the reindeers hooked up to the sleigh. The elves figured out some magic dust to make to make the reindeer fly. And so, on that night, the reindeer swooped off and into the sky, and around the world they go. And that was the very first Christmas with a true Santa Claus. And then, over time, Nicholas got older and older. He grew a beard, which was bright and beautiful and fantastic white. And then he said, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night.